number two here at the Rod and Custom Shop. Um, just going to tag this on to the start of my update video. Um, literally just to say I'm really sorry guys for um, the audio on, on the last video. Uh, the question for the community. I'm really sorry about that guys. Um, for some reason it was fine when I did it. When I uploaded it. For some reason, I'm not sure why, it, it just became really quiet. I'm, I don't know why. I know Mopar Modeler had a similar issue which just completely played the music but cut his sound off completely as well. So I know there's a few issues going on there. But as again, I'm really sorry guys. Um, so let's get on with the update. Just hit Sniper 42 here at the rod and custom shop uh, <coughs> excuse me uh, this is just a, an update of pretty much what I've bought over the last month um, it's not a lot um, but there's a few bits and pieces um, what I do is I start off with the, the kit I bought and uh, it's the Fujimi Nissan Silvia S12 uh, it's the turbo, turbo version um, it's, I've had a look at it, <clears throat> haven't unbagged it. It's a pretty simple kit, um, obviously no engine detail, um, really basic, um, I think it's got metal axle if I remember rightly, and there's screws for the front wheels, I think, I can't remember, but um, I mainly bought it for the rims, I think those rims are fantastic. It's got the kit as well, the body kit. It's actually a very simple kit, but actually a very nice kit. I really do like it. Um, if you want me to do an unboxing of this at some stage, and what have you, I will do. Um, but that's the only kit I bought, um, which I actually picked up. Picked this up for uh, £12.99. I thought it was quite a good buy. So I'm really pleased with that. I'll just quickly open the box so you can have a look. That's the body, and there's the rims there. Really like those rims, but yeah, it's a pretty simple kit. Um, so that's the kit I bought. Um, I also bought a few other bits and pieces. Uh, most of it mainly for the um, the Tom's the Supra build with the twist, um, which you've all seen before. I bought some of these uh, hobby design. AP Racing uh, six pot discs, calipers, should I say discs, idiot. Uh, so, yeah, six pot calipers. Um, I bought those, quite like those, they're quite nice. Um, I bought those, what else did I buy? Also, bought some uh, 0.8mm resin hose joints, 90 degrees, also from Hobby Design. I, I like their stuff. Uh, and this is minute, these are minute. So I got ten of those. These actually cost I think one pound seventy for those, which was a good price. So again, I picked those up for that. Um, I also picked up some ninety degree swivel hose ends. These are the medium ones. You get twenty in here, and again, these these are the um, like hard line fittings. Um, so they're like for the braided hoses with the. Uh, you see them quite often with the anodized blue and red fittings and stuff on the ends. Um, so I've got 20 of those. As I say, they're the medium ones. Again, from Hobby Design. Um, it, there you go. It shows you a picture on the back of the sort of stuff you can use it for. So intercoolers, oil coolers, all sorts. So loads of stuff. So, <coughs> excuse me. Yeah, pleased with those. That also will be being used on Supra more than likely. Um, the only other thing that I actually bought... From um, this was actually from one of Elliot's favourite or ELP Modeling's favourite sites. I use them quite a lot as well, um, and that's the HeroBoy.com. Um, I just got some three different plug wires. I got a blue, an orange, and a red. Um, if I remember rightly, they're about a meter and a half long, and each one of these was. Uh, one pound 
£1.49. So yeah, it's £1.50. Basically it's £1.50, guys, um, for a metre and a half, which I thought was a reasonable price. I will pick up some more of these. Um, <clears throat> and the size of these is actually 0.4mm. So it's actually smaller yeah, than those. Funnily enough, doesn't look it, but it is. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much all I've bought, guys. There's not a lot. Um, this, I will be more than likely this one. I think I will be using for my forties low life project, which again I will show you at some stage in the next few weeks. Um, and the Supra, I'm not really sure what I'll be using. Um, I need to look at some the reference photos. I can't remember what colour, whether they were black or whether they were, I think they were black, whether they were red. Um, I can't remember, but I've got some reference photos, so if it's black, I'll get some black. But I thought that was quite a good price. Um, you guys in the UK, check out heroboy.com. Uh, they're really good. Um, never ever had a problem with them. Uh, quick for shipping. Good company, really good company. So, yeah, if you're in the UK, check them out. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much all I bought um, this over this month. Um, as as I say, I don't spend a I don't spend a lot of money really. Um, I've got a few kits and what have you, but I don't spend a lot of money. Uh, I don't have a lot of money to spend. But I think all these and the, the kit. Plus the shipping or the postage, it came to I think it was thirty one pounds. So um, I thought that was quite good. I think probably the most expensive was was these. I think these were about nearly a five or I think about four pounds something. So they were the most expensive. Um, but yeah, if if you're in the UK, check out heroboy.com. Um, and yeah, thanks, thanks guys for watching. Thanks for listening to me jibber jabber, um, as per usual. Thanks for my su new subscribers. Thank you very much. Um, yeah, this this is it. Thank you very much. See you later, guys. Bye.